but we need fat in our diet in order to make hormones. Hey everybody, it's Jason Vlaha here. Thought I would sit down and do another video for you guys and gals. Let me get a sip of my water first. And my radio voice going on, let's talk about this. Hormones. If you want to make a hormone, don't pay her. Alright. So over to the point. Let's get serious. This is a serious topic. Bad. Bad, Jason. Stay serious. Okay. Serious face. Um, this has been vastly overstated. I used to say even in the past, and this that's what prompted this video, because I've done a lot of videos on different types of dietary fat with a lot of nuance, a lot of detail. And I had some say, hey, way back in the day, you say we should have a minimal fat intake even when dieting in order to maintain hormone levels. How many grams? Is it? And the answer is, oh, we don't know. Um, sorry, there's no arbitrary number I can pick. Uh, and the reason for that is that if we're talking about essential fats and you tell me, this is a problem because you just said fat. How much fat? Well, fat's the wrong question because there's a ton of types of fats. Right? I, we could sit down and very quickly jot out at least 20, easily 20 different specific fats. Different, totally different dietary fats. Some essential, some not. Some our body can make from various ones through other pathways. Okay? So we know that we need certain ones they are essential. They're omega-3 and omega-6. So that being said, that would be like saying, if I just took a big bag of random coins, all types of coins, pennies, dimes, uh, quarters, nickels, maybe some 50 cent pieces, maybe some one pound coins from the UK, and we just mixed them all in a thing, and, and they're like, okay, how many coins do I need to grab out of here to get uh, $2? See the problem? So your grandma fat question is asking that question. I don't know. Uh, 200 pennies would probably get you there. Four of those 50 cent pieces, I don't know how many of the, the, the pound coins because we I don't know the conversion rate off the top of my head. Yes, it is that complicated because there are all sorts of conversions happening. All right, the problem, we don't need dietary fat to make hormones. We need dietary fat to not die. You have certain cellular function. We have things that we need essential fatty acids for. We can make everything but polyunsaturated fats. Okay, you need polyunsaturated fats. You probably need more six than nine for basic health, but those are the two you need, omega-6, omega-9. Very specifically, if you could narrow it down to the only ones you need, it would be alpha linoleic acid on the omega-3 because you can make all the others out of those. They don't work the other direction back down the chain. You can make all the anything you need out of the linoleic acid from the omega-6. Those are your two essentials. Now, other polyunsaturated in that mix that those can convert to are still useful. All other fats, there's no requirement in your diet for them. Your body can make them. You make them out of those fats. In theory, push, push really hard. You can make a lot of them out of carbohydrates, but that is a difficult process. There lay the problem. You see, the same people will say, well, we need all this lipids and cholesterol to make hormones, but then they scream that carbohydrates turn into, can turn into fats and store as fat. So yeah, in other words, you can, you can make your hormones out of that. And that is part of the problem with the hormone question is we can make certain types of cholesterols that we can make hormones from through de novo lipogenesis if we have to. In other words, there's no dietary need for cholesterol. There's no dietary need for most fats. Can certain fats have certain benefits to us? Yes. They're not essential for health. They're not necessarily essential for life. Uh, some of them have some other merit. Some of the monounsaturated and other stuff can have some merit. Your body has no real benefit or use by ever adding saturated fat, other than maybe if you need to gain weight and you're severely anemic. Okay, that might be a good, a good use. We like it because it tastes good. It might have other nutrients with it in the foods that we might want, but we don't need it. Um, and that's just a simple reality. So the question becomes, how much do you need? I don't know. What sort of fats are you eating? So we come over and talk about the essential fats. I mean, you probably need something in the range of 10 to 15 grams of, of omega-6, you know, probably three to five total grams a day of, of omega-3. 
So where does that put us? I don't know, 13 to 20 grams, somewhere in that range is probably our sweet spot. They, we don't have exact numbers and there are people who eat very low fat diets who have extreme lifespans and extreme health, like the Okinawans, but almost all their fats polyunsaturated. Where's your fat coming from? A little bit of fish they eat, fatty fish, a little bit of seafood and tofu. Tofu is very, very high in polyunsaturated fats and those specific essential ones I mentioned. So they get enough on that with a diet that is like 6% fat. So let that sink in. So if they're eating a 2000 calorie diet, that's like 120 calories from fat. The people don't realize how low that is. It's like 15 grams a day. That's insane. But most of it's polyunsaturated and they do fine. They don't have low hormone levels. But therein lay the problem. So how many grams of fat do you need? I mean, we could say, I don't know, 15 grams. If all of it's coming from salmon, tofu, and, you know, whatever, right? Your seaweed, some green vegetables, because those all have some polyunsaturated. Actually, that's mostly what's in your vegetables is mostly polyunsaturated with the little small amount that they have. So, uh... There and lay the question. Actually, it turns out cantaloupe has a gram or so, of, or a gram or two of polyunsaturated, even omega-3 in it, I think, per cantaloupe, like one gram, something like that. So I, the, the problem with the question, well, how much do we need for hormone production? Hormone production, you need to not lose weight too fast. You need to make sure you're healthy. You have no nutritional deficiencies. But the, the only fats you need nutrient-wise are going to be the polyunsaturated ones. The only ones you have to have for health or for life. So we need to be clear on that. Uh, so if you're wanting your hormone levels to stay stable, well, I mean, we can make a case for carbohydrates and thyroid, keep your carbs high. What do most good nutritionists, even who prep people, like registered dietitians or PhDs in the field who prep people for bodybuilding shows say, for getting them shredded, eh, keep your carbs as high as you can get away with. It'll keep your hormone levels higher, especially things like your thyroid keeps your SHBG down a little bit. So your testosterone, free testosterone and stuff comes up. But there's no set amount of grams and there's no set amount of grams of fat you need. Because if we only need, if we only need those specific ones, that would also be like having that whole bag of mixed coins and saying, how many random coins do I need to pull out to get 15 nickels? I don't know, maybe you should find a bag that has a much higher amount of nickels in it than it does the pennies. So there is no set gram answer. You're not gonna find it. Not if you say collectively fat. All right guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.